Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghuvir. In this class, we will discuss about mean and variance of a binomial distribution. In our previous classes, we clearly discussed about what probability mass function of binomial distribution and what is mean means expected value and variance of discrete probability distributions how we find that what's the use of that uh, all those concepts were clearly discussed in our previous classes uh. so based on the assumption you have that basic understanding uh, we are going to explain the concept of uh, mean and variance of binomial distribution please watch our previous classes and come back here the link for the playlist is provided in the description below coming to today's class so what's the probability mass function of a binomial distribution ncx p power x 1 minus p power n minus x so in order to find the discrete probability distribution expected value or mean we had the equation mean is equal to mu is equal to expected value mu can be written as sigma all x take all the random variables of x x multiplied by f of x f of x means probability mass function this is the equation to find the mean value expected value of the discrete random variable so discrete probability distributions so now you have to substitute in place of f of x we are going to substitute the probability mass function sigma x is equal to 0 to n x multiplied by f of x means n c x p power x 1 minus p power n minus x so now when you substitute x is equal to 0 in this equation so now okay now we have to write that x multiplied by when you expand this n c x n factorial by x factorial n minus x factorial p power x 1 minus p power n minus x now you have to understand x is equal to 0 when you substitute 0 here this entire term will be 0 means there is no value for the first term for x is equal to 0 that's why we are taking from sigma x is equal to 1 to n and one more thing we are going to do here x factorial if you write x factorial as x multiplied by x minus 1 multiplied by x minus 2 when x x cancelled what's remain down in the denominator x minus 1 factorial so now we are written as sigma x is equal to 1 to n n factorial by x minus 1 factorial n minus x factorial p power x 1 minus p power n minus x this can be written as see from the n factorial n factorial can be written as n multiplied by n minus 1 so on so n we are taking out what's remain n minus 1 factorial from p power x we are taking p out so p power x minus 1 remain that is what we have written here n p sigma x is equal to 1 to n n minus 1 factorial by x minus 1 factorial n minus x factorial p power x minus 1 1 minus p power x mi n minus x now in order to we are going to in place of x minus 1 we are substituting y value y is equal to x minus 1 means x is equal to y plus 1 and one more thing when x is equal to 1 y is equal to 0 when x is equal to n y is equal to n minus 1 so from this this equation is converted we are substituting in place of x minus 1 we are substituting y we are getting the equation sigma y is equal to 0 to n minus 1 how we got this y is equal to 0 to n minus 1 x is equal to 1 y is equal to 0 x is equal to n y is equal to n minus 1 so from this y is equal to 0 to n minus 1 n minus 1 factorial by in place of uh, x minus 1 we are placing y y factorial n minus 1 minus y factorial p power x minus 1 in place of x minus 1 we are placing y 1 minus p power n minus 1 minus y this is what the equation we got uh, n p multiplied by so from the plus 1 plus 2 mathematics binomial theorem equation can be written as uh, sigma r is equal to 0 to n n c r p power r q power n minus r can be written as p plus q power n this is the equation from binomial theorem equation from the plus 1 plus 2 mathematics if you are not if you don't know what's this binomial theorem equation if you want to learn about it please take our mathematics classes plus 1 plus 2 classes in our play, uh, mathematics playlist and uh, check the concept of binomial theorem so this binomial theorem this this is this equation is exactly 
looking like our binomial theorem but in place of n we are having n minus 1 n minus 1 factorial y factorial n minus 1 minus y factorial p power y 1 minus p power n minus 1 minus y this can be written as a p plus 1 minus p whole power n minus 1 same this binomial theorem we are substituting it so p plus 1 minus p means 1 anything 1 power anything 1 so np multiplied by 1 so finally we got np so expected value mean value of binomial distribution is np now we have to find the variance value of a binomial distribution so mu is equal to np variance exactly the way which we have done in our mean value mean identifying the mean similar logic we are going to apply for variance also variance is given as expected of x square minus expected of x whole square this is a capital x we have to write it as by mistake we made it as small x expected of x whole square first we are going to identify expected of x square this we already identified expected of x means np mean value np np whole square we are going to identify expected of x square sigma x is equal to 0 to n x square f of x this is how we identify expected of x square so now when you substitute this x square can be written as a x x minus 1 plus x means x square minus x plus x which is x square we are writing this x square as this and f of x means binomial distribution probability mass function this is what binomial distribution probability mass function we have to write the equation this is the short form to write the binomial uh, probability mass function so now we are going to separate this sigma x is equal to 0 to n x x minus 1 binomial probability mass function plus sigma x is equal to 0 to n x binomial probability mass function this means we call it as np we already identified above this is what the expected value of uh, np so now we are going to uh, write the equation sigma x is equal to 0 to n x x minus 1 n factorial by x factorial n minus x factorial p power x in place of this b b x this is what we have to write this is the probability mass function of a binomial distribution p power x 1 minus p power n minus x plus e n p similarly here you have to understand when you place x is equal to 0 this entire term will be 0 when you place x is equal to 1 this entire term will be 1 minus 1 means 0 0 so that's why we are taking sigma x is equal to 2 to n remaining terms are already 0 that's why we are taking and x multiplied by x minus 1 so when you convert this x factorial in the denominator x multiplied by x minus 1 multiplied by x minus 2 so x multiplied by x minus 1 cancelled out so we remain with n factorial by x minus 2 factorial n minus x factorial p power x 1 minus p power n minus x plus n p now coming to the next one similarly here we are taking out n multiplied by n minus 1 what's remain here n minus 2 factorial from this p power x we are taking p square out so p square out p power x minus 2 remain n minus 2 factorial by x minus 2 fa factorial n minus x factorial p power x minus 2 1 minus p power n minus x plus n p this is the term we taking we are taking it as taking out p square n multiplied by n minus 1 similarly now we are going to do the same thing previously we placed y is equal to x minus 1 here we are placing y is equal to x minus 2 so x is equal to y plus 2 when x is equal to 2 y is equal to 0 uh, x is equal to n y is equal to n minus 2 substituting this uh, values here, y values here in the above equation in this equation we get that uh, n multiplied by n minus 1 p square sigma y is equal to 0 to n minus 2 n minus 2 factorial by y factorial n minus 2 minus y factorial p power y q power n minus 2 minus y plus n p this is the equation from the binomial theorem this can be written as uh, previously we got the equation n minus 1 factorial by so now we are getting the equation n minus 2 factorial by y so on uh, this can be written as uh, this part this sigma summation part this can be written as p plus 1 minus p whole power n minus 2 this is equal to 1 p plus 1 minus p means 1 1 uh, 1 power anything 1 so now we got the equation n multiplied by n minus 1 multiplied by p square 
plus np. This is what expected of x square. But this is not the variance value. If you take the variance value, sigma square is equal to n multiplied by n minus 1 p square plus np minus expected of x whole square, np square. When you solve this equation, np multiplied by 1 minus p will get. So 1 minus p means q. We are taking probability of success as p, failure as 1 minus p, that we call it as q. So npq. Finally, variance value sigma square is equal to npq. Hope you understand the concept of uh, binomial distribution mean and variance uh, values. Uh, if you have any questions regarding the concept, please post your questions in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates. Thank you.